Well, along with superannuation, our most valuable asset is our house. But many homeowners are facing a tricky decision. Fixed home loan interest rates are falling and the temptation is to lock in some certainty. But is moving away from a variable home loan the best option? A man who has some strong views on that is Mark Bouris, who founded Wizard Home Loans and now runs Yellow Brick Road Financial Planning. Mark, fixed rate home loans, as you know, are coming down and that must be an enormous temptation for many people to move away from variable and to go fixed. What are your thoughts on that? I agree it's a temptation. It's a huge temptation because the variable rates are reasonably high. You know, they can range between 7.8 as a retail rate down about 7 in the territory. Fixed rates can be somewhere between 6.29 for some of the credit unions right up to about six for three year and five year. So it indicates to me that um, the cost of money in the markets for banks to offer a really good fixed rate are coming off. But it doesn't follow on this occasion I think that variable rates will also come off which is pretty unusual. Well if we can just look at fixed rates uh, the fixed rate at the moment is well below the variable rate for home loans, but if you do lock into a fixed rate, you run the risk that at some point the variable rate will drop and be lower than the fixed rate. Well, that's the assumption you should make, because all the banks are saying is, we reckon over the next three years, variable rates will get lower. So therefore, today, we'll offer you a cheaper fixed rate over three years. So the assumption is, if the assumption is correct, that means that if you fix lock in today at 650, for argument's sake, over a three year period, that the variable rates could end up at six within that period, which means you've lost out. It wasn't a good decision. And of course, there are other disadvantages with fixed rate loans, and that you lose a lot of the flexibility that comes with a variable rate loan, such as a redraw facility and being able to pay extra and things like that. That's right. Well, fixed means fixed not just an interest rate, but fixed in all your options. Your options are sort of limited. So you can't make extra repayments, you can't go and pay them out without incurring a penalty. Um, there's a whole series of things that fixed rates take out of the variable rate formula. Um, and look, over history, fixed rates have turned out to be the wrong option for borrowers over time. Variable rate has always outperformed fixed rate, not only for the options that you can exercise, but also just the interest rate. It's always worked out better if you take a variable rate and keep it a variable. Why would you switch to fixed unless your finances were stretched? Well, there's two reasons you'd fix, uh, you would switch to fixed. <laughs> there's two reasons. I, I think the first one is if you really thought interest rates were on the way up, in other words, you reckon the Reserve Bank and the Reserve Bank are going to put interest rates up, then you would fix now. That's one. Or secondly, you're a nervous type of person, you're concerned of where things are going, and one thing that fixed does give you is certainty. It gives you absolute certainty. So you might decide to take the fixed rate because it's certain, and obviously, if it's less than the variable rate at the moment, it is something you can afford because you can already afford the variable rate. So, you know, you can get a fixed rate that's affordable and certain and, and you know what the term is going to be. So in the current climate, I'll put you right on the spot here. From what I heard you say at the start of the interview, I guess your advice would be stay variable. Yeah, stay variable. Um, I, I'm a, I believe in markets. I believe the markets get the algorithm right ahead of the Reserve Bank on interest rate reductions. I don't necessarily believe the markets get the interest rate position right ahead of increases. The Reserve Bank tends to be very preemptive on the increases, not so preemptive on the one. So my guess is the market right now has got it right and I would back the market and I think interest rates are going to come off over the next three to five years. Well Mark, you've given our viewers a lot to think about. Thank you for your time. Most welcome.